Hello, this video presents power division theorem application to a very large network of 11 nodes, 4 source lines, 5 loads and 18 elements. Network nodes are 7. Source nodes are 4 as shown in the display. There are 11 node equations as shown in the display must be solved for node voltages to find the operating points. Respective node voltage is taken as reference for writing nodal equations as shown in the display. The five loads are 125 watts 120 watts, 175 watts, 100 watts and 130 watts, totally 650 watts. The four source currents are 1.2 ampere, 1.8 ampere, 1.5 ampere and 2.5 ampere. Currents are passing through the network and shares the five loads. Sharing of loads by sources shown in the power distribution matrix and sharing of network loss also shown in the display. Total input power P1, P2, P3, P4 and power entering into the network SP1, SP2, SP3, SP4 also shown in the diagram. Network loss and total loss also calculated and displayed. This is the first operating point of the network. Note that after solving the equation, the total load currents are equal to the total source current as 7 ampere. Second operating point is found by solving the 11 equations with the four source currents 2.2 ampere, 1.3 ampere, 2 ampere and 1.5 ampere totally 7 ampere as shown in the display. The four sources are in the same location as in the case of operating point 1. Now sharing of 5 loads are now different since the source currents are different. Sharing of network is also different. Sharing of network class is also same as that of the sharing of loads. Note that the operating point 1 and operating point 2 the network voltages and network classes are not changed but sharing is only changed even though the sharing of currents in operating point 1 and operating point 2 are different the sharing is different but network class is same network voltages are the same this is a one of the new concept brought out by power division theorem. Now we see the list of new concepts brought out by power division theorem. Number one, in an active network, the concept of back power flow and its estimation. Number two, immediate establishment of Kirchmeier's hypothetical load point voltage. Number three, Share of loads by sources is independent of type of network, network nodes voltages and elements current. Number four, changing load points or source point is not changing the share of loads by sources in a power system network at particular operating point. Number five, estimates the generators share on tail end loads of power systems.
The sixth concept is demonstrated in this video. That is, source currents, magnitudes are changed without changing its location. Load sharing is different, but network loss will be the same. Conventional Thevenin's Norton superposition and reciprocity theorems are applied to analyze the network only one aspect. They are not applicable for power analysis in the network. Division theorem is a standard powerful fundamental theorem brings out new concepts of power systems. Many representations are given during the first seven years to the chairman of electrical and electronics engineering, head of the department, director academic and register of Anna University for including the power division theorem and dual source operation of today electronic equipments in the syllabus of Anna University. Once again, request to include the innovative topic in the syllabus as early as possible. Thank you.